Hi, this is Rob and Ali and our little friend today <laughs> sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. So today in this video what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the things that we think you should do either on your first day or very early on in your cruise to make life a little bit easier, a little bit more comfortable and make sure you don't miss out on anything that you want to do on your holiday. Yes. Yes. So first things first, as soon as you come on we would recommend that you run to your room <laughs> your card key is actually outside the room normally in a little holder in an envelope um, that is the way they tend to do it these days instead of giving you them at the cruise terminal they used to give them to you at the cruise terminal <laughs> yes. but these days they tend to be outside your cabin in an envelope yes now one important thing is so when you get when you get your your um, card key, please remember that the room number is not on the card key. So many people think it is like an old-fashioned key with the number on it. Um, so what we would recommend is use your phone, take a picture of your door with the room number on it, because you are bound to forget. Or like me, I do the dyslexic thing where I got all the numbers the wrong way around. Um, and end up with numbers that actually don't even exist on board the ship. So take a picture and then you've, you've always got it in case um, you come back late, a bit That's frazzled true. and you've and, forgotten your number. And another thing that people do as well, because the, the, the walls and doors of cruise ships uh, are, are basically made of metal. <laughs> so uh, people take magnets along and put them on their doors so that you can easily recognise yes. because one door looks the same as the other. Yes, yeah. so as you're walking along you can spot whatever yeah. little decoration you have yeah. put on your door. That's right. But once you get in your room first thing to do we would suggest is make sure that it is set out and you have everything that you want and everything works when we came into this cabin here the beds were made up as twin beds we wanted as, as a queen bed um, that is not a problem and everything's easily remedied and if something's not quite working if a bulbs out or something's not working easily remedied now the steward your room steward or stewards will generally come and see you very early on they, they mm. sort of know they're wandering up and down they know when people are arriving and they'll introduce themselves and, and give you a quick tour of your cabin ask you if there's anything that you need if they don't and if you have something that you need changing uh, or you need some additional pillows or whatever it might be extra towels yeah any of that extra stuff, pillows. any of that stuff the room stewards name and details telephone number should be in your cabin give them a call have a chat with them and they will sort it out. Look, if you do it as soon as you get on and everything's sorted, but when we got on, our beds were made into a queen bed before we even came back after dinner. If you Easily are first time cruisers, please don't feel that you are pestering or it's an embarrassment to pick up the phone and say, I need an extra towel, I would like extra pillows, anything of that nature, or I, I want the beds moving. It's not a complaint and they do not see it as a complaint. What they would rather have is happy customers. Yeah. Um, so many of them have said to us, this is our job, we want you to be happy. We do not want you going away, going home, or going to, when you meet people throughout the cruise and saying you're unhappy with something, it takes them five minutes to remedy some of these things for you. There's also another reason why they do that, and, and most of the crew on cruise ships um, get their promotions and get their bonuses through recommendations. Yes. So if you are happy, if you're a happy, it's easy. It's, it's like if you're a happy customer and you're a happy sailor and your steward has been one that's looked after you, then give them a recommendation yes. because it does have a real effect. It does um, go towards their promotion and towards yes. their bonuses. And they can't read your mind. If, no. if you want two pillows, they don't know that. Yeah. So just yeah, give them a bell. They'll be here, they'll do that. Anyway, that's a very long first couple and we've got more to get through. One of the first things that you will need to do is muster. Nowadays, mm. it's nowadays it's a lot simpler than having to, to meet in a place and, and wait and have a demonstration of um, uh, of life jackets. Generally speaking, you will watch a video on your television screen, you will turn up to your muster station, you will be shown how to put a life jacket on, and that is it. Now, get this done, do it out, get it out of the way as yeah. soon as possible um, so you can get on with your holiday. If this is maritime law, and if you do not do it, yes. they will come and find you they and they will make you do a yes. session. So just go and do it, get it out of the way, and then you can get on with your yeah, holiday. It takes about 10 minutes. All right. All yeah. right. If you fancy one of the shore tours and you haven't had an opportunity to book one before you've come on board, we recommend that you do it on embarkation day or as soon as possible as they do book out 
and you will have lost the opportunity to get get on something that you really want to do. Everything you pay for on a cruise ship is not done with cash, it's done with your cruise card. Now, the way you operate these cruise cards is you either register your credit card against them before you actually go onto the ship, which is um, probably the easiest way to do because everything just comes straight off it. But a lot of people don't want to do that and some cruise companies put a hold on it, so you will, might want to do a cash account. So one of the first things to do when you get on board is head over to guest services and put some cash onto your cruise card so that you've got some to spend in the bars or the cafes and it's already loaded up um, and ready to go. You can check your account either at guest services but a lot of the cruise lines actually have machines around the ship and you can print it off. You can also on a lot of them have a look on the app that's on your phone. The app will give you a non-balance account and in some of the cruise lines you can actually watch it on your or see it on your television. So yeah head down to guest services, put some cash on, and you're all ready to go. When you go up to the bar, they're not gonna say, mm, sorry, no, I'm nothing on your account. Another thing to look out for on your first day on board the ship is the, um, is the special offers. So you will find special offers at the photography. So this is money off on the photography. I think there was money off on, what was the other thing? It was the spa treatments. There's generally deals on the spa treatments. Yeah. And the fitness center. They do not come up again. Um, and we have found that we think we can blag our way through it later on and say, we missed it on the first day. Can we now have that discount? And they will actually just say, no, that was a first day or a one-off some, offer. So, some of the stores do that. Some of the shops do like a, a welcome do. aboard offers and they'll have some specials on drink mugs or whatever yes. it might be. It's different things. Just, Point is, if you look out for them on the first day because they might not carry yes. on for the rest of the cruise. Yes, you think you're going to get them and you're just going to go, oh, we know it's only a bit of a sales ploy. It is, no, they're genuine, genuine offers and you will only get them on the first day if you put your name down for them. Bear that in mind. There are several different kids clubs. I think it goes right up to about 16 or 17. Um, if you have kids and you want them to join the um, kids club, we would recommend that you do that early on in the cruise. That's because there are limited places. Now we have had feedback from some, um, some of the parents and some of the kids and they love these things. They love coming to them and you can dip in and out of them of course. You don't have to be there. Um, drop your kids off and leave them there all day. Pick and choose the times and the activities that they want to do. And of course the older ones just drop in when they want to and you can keep in touch on your app so they could drop in for an hour put something on the app and meet you up somewhere by the swimming pool or whatever so but get in early limited places especially during school holidays when there are more children on board especially during the school holidays you may already have booked your dining options, the traditional dining for your evening meal, which is normally um, an early sitting or a late sitting. You may have already booked that before you have joined the cruise. If not, and you want any time dining, there is normally an option on the app or if you go to the restaurant to book on the day or the day before of the, of the when you want to dine and you will get different, um, ask for a different time slot that suits you. Otherwise, if there's a particular time that you like, you can, on your first day, we would recommend you go to the restaurant or go to guest services and book the time. So if you like 7.30 and that's not, um, that's not on the early or late time, Book that in for every day, maybe even select the table that you like, a table by the window, and they will reserve that for you for the duration of your trip. So a good way to do that is if after your first meal, you've enjoyed where you are, you've enjoyed the people who've looked after you, and you want to have that experience and stay with them throughout the rest of your holiday, on your way out, see the maitre d' or see the, uh, the guys at the, uh, at the reception entrance, and, and they will maybe be able to book you in for the same table, same time for the rest of your holiday, and that's all sorted. You don't need to worry about um, any of your other evening or, or lunchtime dining, maybe evening, not lunchtime, but evening dinings. Most cruises now have specialty dining that you pay a little bit extra for. Um, most of those restaurants, a lot of the times, get booked up really quickly. So we would recommend do that when you first come on. Pick a day, pick a date, or if you've got a special occasion, 
pick that date, obviously. Make sure you have your time um, and the day that you want. Book it in early. Most cruise lines these days have an app and you can do everything on these apps from communicating with your friends and family to booking your meals. One of the most important things is that it usually shows you the daily activity. So we recommend you familiarize yourself with the app as soon as possible. Work out where all the activities are. Generally speaking, they have an option to highlight them. It'll either give you a warning when it's coming up, but if you've already been through them and got them highlighted um, for each day, then you won't miss anything that you really want to do on your cruise. If you don't like the app, you can generally get a paper copy. Um, we take a highlighter with us and get a paper copy, and it's a fun thing to do at breakfast is just highlight what we're going to do during the day so that we know what we're going to be doing, where we're going to be, and we don't miss any of the fun. All right, so if you've liked this video, if it's been helpful, please hit the like, please hit subscribe, hit notifications if you want to see more of our videos, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. If you want the same time every day and you haven't already pre-booked the traditional dining where it is, that's good. Buy on a cruise ship in the shops or the bars you pay for on your cruise. Now your cruise card is, um, is loaded up either by...